What's going on guys, it's Alex here from CD Soft and welcome back to the channel. So as promised, today we're going to go through a full setup video of the FlashForge 8.9S resin 3D printer. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and without further ado, let's get into it. First thing to know when using resin printers is that it can be very messy. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover this whole table in cardboard. Newspaper works fine as well. Now with the magical power of editing, I'm going to click my fingers and that will all be done. Right, now that that's done, we can get on to the first steps. First thing we'll need to do is level the platform. We'll start by turning on the machine. Next we'll remove the resin bath with the two screws either side. And then once that one's been removed, we can put on a folded piece of A4 paper, which will allow us to level it. Next, we'll loosen the four screws on the base of the platform, allowing it to hang loose during the leveling process. Once the platform is nice and loose, we'll go into the menu, we'll go Tools, Manual, and then Home. This will lower the platform down to the base, just sitting right on top of the paper. Hold the platform down with a small amount of pressure and then semi-tighten the screws on each corner. The importance of only using a small amount of pressure is that if you put down too much pressure, you won't be able to move the paper. If you can't move the paper, that means you're too close. So if it is too tight, you'll just need to repeat the process. As you can see here, our piece of paper is pretty much perfect. It's not too loose and it's not too tight, which means we can go ahead and raise the platform. So in the manual section shown before, you press the plus sign and this will raise the platform. Once the platform has been raised, we can go ahead and reinstall the resin bath. So looking on the bottom, you can see there's four screws, one in each corner, and this will line up with the holes on the printer, which you can see here and here. And don't forget to remove the piece of paper. Then you'll screw it back in with the two screws and we'll be ready for the resin. So the next step is going to be using the software. We'll go to load and then we'll load the model we want. You can either use an STL file or a project file. We're using a project file as you can see as it's already got supports on the base. Next we'll go to print, where we'll select our material type. We're going to be using beige washable, you've also got standard and ABS like. Here you can see all the different sorts of settings, you go to more options and there's even more. We're not going to be mucking around with the settings because we found that it works absolutely fine just on the default. So once you've had a look through that, we'll go into OK, where we'll export the file as an SVGX, which is what the resin printer can read. Once you've saved your project as an SVGX file, go ahead and copy that to a thumb drive. Now, as you can see here, it's going to take just under four and a half hours and it's estimated to use just under 11 millilitres of resin. So, as mentioned before, we're going to be using the washable resin. You can also use ABS-like or standard. We'll touch on why we like the washable later. When pouring a resin, we recommend you cover the whole platform and then add a bit more just to be sure. The first time we tried this, we put it up to the max line, which makes it a lot harder when you go to empty it later. Next, we'll plug in the USB and we'll turn on the machine. And then in the menu, we'll go to print. USB memory, select the file that you'd like to print, and then press start. And now, enjoy the time lapse.
When handling resin, it is important to use the right sort of hand protection as it is really bad for your skin. To remove your print, simply unscrew the knob on top of the platform and that one will then slide straight out. Using the included scraping tool, you can slip that behind the print and that should come off quite easily. All right, once you've got your print scraped off of the platform, we have two steps left to complete it. First thing to do is washing and then curing. So if you've got washable resin like we do, then you can wash that one in a bath of water. If you're using standard resin, then you will have to use a bath of isopropyl. Once the washing is complete, we have one last step, which is the curing. So this can be done in one of two ways. Either you can put it in a bath of water outside in the sun, or you can use an external UV curing station. Lastly, I'll touch on the cleaning. This we recommend doing with two people. Included in the toolkit is a set of filters, which you'll need to use when pouring any excess resin back into the bottles. This just gets rid of any sort of lumps that may have occurred. Once you have your resin back in the bottle, the last thing to do is to wash the platform and the resin bath. This can just be done in water. Make sure that it's done thoroughly so that it's a lot easier next time you go to use the printer. And now that all of that's done, we can have a look at the final product. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.